YouTube. What's up? It's your boy Eisen. There's Tactical Man. Hey, man. I just want to let you guys know. Welcome to the first uh, edition of Crossover. Uh, you know, like in basketball, you know, Tim Hardaway, Allen Iverson, Isaiah Thomas Crossover. Well, I'm doing my first episode of Crossover, which is going to be me merging another YouTuber's video into my video or kind of like piggyback off of it and kind of complete the uh, episode, so to speak. So for the first YouTuber that, I, that I'm going to use for uh, my first episode of Crossover, it's going to be my man Dressed to Kill Tay. Dressed to Kill Tay, we're going to use him for the first uh, Crossover. And, for, you know, excuse my uh, lack of editing and all the fancy gadgetry. I just got my iPad and we're going to do it like that. And what he's talking about on one of his videos was, uh, well, the name of the video is called Don't Listen to Gun Tubers for Advice. <laughs> that was funny. That, that caught my eye big time. You know, and he's right. You know, you don't need to be, you know, you can watch YouTube, but do some real research. Do your own homework, like he said in his video. I'm not going to do his whole video. The whole point of the crossover is for you to get turned on to some good content by other gun tubers. So we're going to get into this video real quick, and then I'm going to, finish off the other half of it because he's talking about um it's a nice video he's talking about like uh when you carry one in the head you chamber that round you're 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 pushing that bullet back into the uh brass and that can call misfeeds or actually explosions and stuff like that and so watch this video it's a dope video he's talking about that and he's talking about certain uh feed ramps on barrels and things of that nature and how the glock barrel is not supported and so you know, and it's a, it's a shorter feed ramp, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show that because he didn't have a Glock in his video, and I don't have a Taurus, so that's the whole point of the crossover. We're gonna piggyback off each other what we don't have, so it's gonna take a lot of work. But uh, I'm in California, skill, so unfortunately for me, it's a lot of guns I don't have, and I have a couple of unique guns, and maybe a lot of people don't have Glocks because y'all in the free world. So I'm gonna try to make this crossover uh, series work, man. But let's get right into it. The first episode crossover, and it's my man dressed to kill Tay. I'm gonna pick up right here. Same goes for that. Look how taller that bullet is compared to the Hornady Critical Defense. If you constantly and properly, because there is actually a right way to chamber your gun, you know, and even I do it incorrectly sometimes, a lot of times, honestly, with these. I, it's been it's been months, honestly. Like those are like probably about a year old bullets that you know were the last times that actually happened with bullet setback. Whenever you chamber your gun, don't just drop the slide because when you're doing that, as you see, the gun has a little more tolerance after the slide is actually locked to be able to be pulled back and release the slide stop so whenever you're just constantly dropping that slide especially on a, a round that's been rechambered 50 times that's where you get bullet setback case and setback and this can actually cause your gun to honestly blow up that's why a lot of glocks weirdly blow up because they have those unsupported chambers it's a gift and a curse with that brand because if the chamber isn't supported and you have a hot load you go to shoot that that gun guess where all the energy is being released to i don't have a glock to show you guys but Okay, okay, so y'all see that. Uh, that's the part we're going to pick up at right there. He's sitting at the clock, and he's going to show uh, how the bullet, when it's in the uh, barrel, is it's unsupported, and it kind of wobbles a little bit. But in this one, it doesn't. So his, he's showing that the bullet doesn't move. On Glocks, the bottom of the actual round is more exposed. 
it has more room in look the Look at clock. that feed ramp. Look, at, look how big it you is. Can, I'm going to show you on mine how it's smaller. Look around if you do this. Now, this has room also. All guns, you have to have tolerances. But on a Glock, the bottom right here is more exposed. Also, the feed ramp is shorter. It's dang near half the size of this, honestly. Okay, let's stop right there. Let's stop right there. Dress the Kill Tay. Shout out Dress Kill Tay. So we're going to pick up right there. Now, let me show you what he's talking about. Uh, he is absolutely right. So when I saw this video, immediately I ran and got my uh, one of my Glocks and did the little bullet. So let's look at the ramp. Now, I don't have uh, – if you look on that ramp on his, let's, let's get, bring it back up. Now, when he showed that ramp, let's bring that ramp back up. So look at that ramp. Look how look how long that is. Now look at the feed ramp on here. Yeah, yeah, he's absolutely right. So and it's not supported. So now when you put a round in there, let's see what he's talking about. Tay said on the Glock. See how it sits right there. He said it rattles when you shake it. So let's see. It does. See that? Now this is a this is a ten mil bullet. So let's to be fair, he was using nine millimeters. So let's be fair. Let's get the Glock nineteen out. Let's go ahead and clear his weapon. Let's clear his weapon. Okay. Now let's get the uh, barrel out. Okay. Now. This is what he was saying. He was saying that that this is the Glock 19 OEM OEM barrel. Now let's put he had three different calibers. So I had Blazer. I think take the Tay, that's Blazer right there, and that's Norma. And this is Hornaday. Hornaday critical defense. Okay, it's Hornaday 115 grain. So now when you put that blazer in there, let's see. So it sits in that nine mm barrel. Now watch. You can still hear that you can still hear that rattle a little unsupported right that's the blazer and then when you put the uh the norma yep he's absolutely right it rattles and then when you put the hollow in there see how low that sits so he's right so when you're racking oops so when you racking around up in there that can make a difference. And if you, so if you carry one in the head, you got to be conscious of that round reseeding up in there, man. So, uh, so Tay is absolutely right. Now let me go to this other part right here. Where was another part I want to bring up? I think right around here. They will have bulges. At the bottom, wherever you know the bullet actually sits. Now I don't have a barrel. casing. The I, bottom of the casing. I'm gonna try to find one, but and show y'all. It will have a big bulge. Sometimes it might not be that big, but it's it's visibly and physically able to be seen. As you see, completely round cases, able to be reloaded. Completely round cases, able to be reloaded. That's why they say you can't really shoot reloads out of Glocks. So that's one another misconception. So man, hey, I want to give a shout out to Dress Kill Tay because that was a very informative video, and uh, I mean he dropped some knowledge on that, some things I didn't really know. You know, I researched it and cross checked it, and everything he said is definitely is out there. Is tr it's, it's been it's been proven that that is true. Some people do they believe it? No, whatever. But it's facts. He is absolutely right about the reload thing. Cause I hit up one of my homies that do reloads and he was right. And I thought that was interesting that the, the round do rattle up in there. There's no question. It's not completely flush. And that feed ramp is definitely shorter on, on this compared to that Taurus that he showed. So man, that was a really dope ass little video right there. So I had to give it up to my man right there. So I had to pick him for my, uh, you know, and this is clean. Well, y'all, I did this on the cleaning video. That's right. Uh, yeah, I, I, um, I have to get that man up his props on that, man. And that's, what's cool about YouTube, man. But you still, like he said, you still have to, he even saying it on his own video, like, don't listen to him. Go find out for yourself if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm capping. So 
that, that's pretty dope, man. So uh, shout out to Tay for that. That was a very informative video. Now, let's get into the, the crossover. So that was the crossover. Now, now every time I do a crossover, I'm going to do my own part of the video, too. But the crossover is to kind of like, uh, how do you say, we're going to, whatever he was talking about, I have something to finish off that video. So I just want y'all know. That's the format of the crossover. So it's like I give you an example. Like that was a perfect example. He was talking about Glock. He had Tauruses, but he was talking about Glocks, but he didn't have a Glock. So I finished off the crossover by bringing my Glock into the fold. And that's how I'm going to do my crossover. So it's going to be interesting to see because everybody has something that somebody else doesn't have. And people like to do a lot of comparisons in the gun world. So I thought that would be a great concept for crossover, man. So, yeah, so go check check out Dress to Kill Tay, man. Uh, check out that video. Uh, don't listen to Gun Tubes for advice, man. Yeah, I'm just going to let it run just so we can get airtime. Well, I, shall, I, I got to turn it off right now. But, yeah, man, shout out to the Lakers, man. Kobe Bryant Day. They're going to unveil the trophy today. 2-8-24 marketing history. They, got, they played at Lakers, played Denver tonight. So, now, I just want to let you guys know I went to the range tonight. Shot another 100 through there. Came to the conclusion. Yeah, man, anything inside of 100 yards, I'm good with this. Man, this this optic, let me tell you, the Sealy optic, man, I, I ain't going to lie. Got this thing for under 70. Green dot, absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm going to do a comparison. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side with the Sealy, the 6-hour, and the Vortex Crossfire. I have all three of them. I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion on which one I like the best. Uh, this baby is bad, dude. This, this thing, that thing shot great, great build, great, great build, man. Super proud of that. Uh, awesome. And then I shot this today. Anybody in the business for looking for a good little 22 pistol, very reliable. Uh, go ahead, go ahead and get these boys a run for your money, man. It was shooting real good. And I want to let you know I did use the snap caps tonight because I was kind of like, man, I never use them, man. So I go ahead. I went out, went up to shot some snap caps and like just to do some dry fire. And these things run great, man. So if you're looking for some snap caps for your 22 LR, check these boys out. And that was pretty cheap. I don't know how much I paid, but you get a, you get a bunch of them. How many in here? Uh, 24 pack. So I loaded them up and I was testing them to see if they would jam or anything like that. Not a chance, man. Look at this thing, man. This thing, they, boom. Boom. Woo. Boom. Boom. They run, man. They run. There it is, last one. So yeah, man. These snap caps work, man. What can I say, man? Hey, check it out, man. Y'all go ahead. Like the video, comment, subscribe. That's what I got for you today. My first crossover. Um, shout out to Dress to Kill Tay. Man, everybody support each other in the gun tube community, man. We can go ahead and beat all these stupid laws and stupid legislation trying to make us look bad. Videos like this. Uh, YouTubers like Tay, Sleeps, you know, Citizen 2A, Citizen Big Boy, you know, Art to Marine Art Doors, T Electric, the Alert Zone, Armed and Dangerous, 2A Ninja. You know what I'm saying? Nubs the shooter, JB shoots, running tactical, you know what I'm saying? There's just so many, man. Everybody, man. So uh support everybody and do the best you can. And let me know what y'all think about the first episode of the uh of the crossover, man. Like, comment, subscribe, stay blessed. Peace.